Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. We have got a delivery going on here, I think. I think that is a delivery that is going on. Because we've got, in the warehouse, yes, we've got 37.5, we've got four chicken units here. I, I, I don't understand. We were waiting for the, the meat to go somewhere, and now we've actually got the chickens doing something. I was told that the percentages here is actually the percentage of time that they spend working on each of these items. So they'll spend some time working on those, they'll spend some time working on others, and, and then that's kind of how it works. So I, I'm not really sure, I, I genuinely am a little bit confused, but apparently this one is the bee's knees when it comes to making cash in this game. So we're going to keep working on it, we're going to keep that one running. Uh, over here we have seven days left on there. So I've got, uh, this one is cultivated, ready to go. This one is cultivated, ready to go. This one is 79, 76. We're going to get that one there planted. No, no we're not. 89 days, that one's ready to, uh, uh, hang on, did I, did I do the wrong bit? So that one, 89 days. This one here, uh, I need to plant that one. So I want to get, um, choose, I want pumpkins. He's 17th of the second. Ivelios, somebody who, uh, he, he puts in a lot, Oops, I put the wrong people in there. No, that's all right. They'll be fine. Um, he puts in a lot of comments. He does a lot of research, and he helps me out quite a lot in the background. Um, just giving me loads of data about the various different games that I play. Um, and it is, he's, it's really, really useful. He said he doesn't think I'm going to remember to sell those pumpkin seeds before the... Um, uh, that before they all expire. He reckons that I'm because it was so long since he reminded me that I'm going to forget. So Ivelios, this is for you, sir. This, this is for you right here. Look, see, I'm going to the market right there. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And there we go. I'm going to the pumpkin seeds. And just to prove... Oh, no, that's buy. I want, I want to go to sell. I, ne I, ne I, I nearly did it all wrong anyway. Um, there we go. Pumpkin seeds right there. 627. And I'm going to put that all the way up to all uh, to, to the maximum. There we go. Look, see, and then sell. I did it. I actually remembered to sell them. You didn't think I would. I mean, to be fair, I didn't think I would either. So um, it, it does kind of make sense. Um, and I, I absolutely don't blame any of you. I'm, 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 you know, I'm likely to forget this sort of thing. But I did remember there. I definitely remembered. But what I am going to do, I, I don't know if I did. Did I reserve enough for those? I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure now. Um, however, we're going to go back to the market. Your animals are ready for breeding. Okay, um, let me just go there a minute and call the inseminator and that can get going. And then we want to go over to here. We want to go to the market. We want to go to buy. We want to scroll our way down through here to the pumpkin seeds right there. And I'm going to buy 100. I'm not going to buy excessive quantities. I'm going to buy 100 kilos of pumpkins because I'm hoping that's going to be enough. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to the market and I'm going to go back down. Uh, well, actually, we go to the cell a minute. I want to look at the seeds that we've got. What seeds? So I've got oat seeds there, which I'm going to be using for a small field. I don't have any other seeds at the moment. We've got apples over there. Now, I wasn't going to grow any crops at the moment. Um, cabbage seedlings... We could grow some cabbages. I was told that uh, cucumbers are the way to go in fields. You really want cucumbers. Um, corn is not by hand. I want I want at the moment we're going to concentrate. We're going to sort of be a farm where we do things by hand. Um, a lot of stuff by hand. I reckon that's probably a good way to go. So if I get 100 kilos of pump, uh, cucumber seeds as well, uh, buy those. And then we've got uh, red peppers. We'll go for... Though I don't know if I'm going to be able to grow those in the field or not. I'm not sure. But I'm going to buy 100 of those. And I'm going to go up here, saplings no, but cabbage seedlings, I'm going to buy those as well. Now, I know that uh, some of those are more profitable than others. I'm Basically, I just want to sort of go through and have a look at several different ones. Um, and we'll see how we get I figure that a, a, a variety of crops wouldn't hurt at all. So if I get a whole load of those. Now, we've got a small milk processing plant over here. Now, if we've got a milk processing plant... Did I... What have I got in the way of employees? We've got here cucumber seeds and we, we've got um, other over there. So I need the meat from here being put over there. Warehouse here. We've got meat 37.5, 281. 31 kilos. We've got a pig there waiting to go. Poor pig. Percy, he's called. Um, Well, he, he's, it's 
used to be called. Actually, no, he's still waiting. He's still called Percy at the moment. He won't be called Percy for much longer. He's going to be called Bacon very soon. Um, that may sound harsh and callous, but unfortunately, that is the way of it. If you want to eat tasty animals, then unfortunately, the tasty animals need to be sort of turned into tasty food. Um, it's, it's just it's just how it works. Um, oh, hang on. What is that? Oh, there's a kilo of pumpkin seeds. Have they used the wrong kilo of pumpkin seeds? I reckon they have. 88. They've used the wrong kilo of pumpkin seeds. You idiots. I can't believe it. I have a kilo of pumpkin seeds. Ivelios is going to be laughing his head off right now because I have failed to sell the pumpkin. There we go. One kilo. I can't sell a hundred. Um, 101. No. Let's go 1.6. I can't, I can't even do 1.66. I can do 101. <laughs> okay, one. One kilo, right there. Uh, sell. So, uh, no! No, 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 no! No, this isn't right! This is not right at all! Uh, sl 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hang on! We go here, I'm gonna loot, I'm gonna... <laughs> a kilo of pumpkin seeds! It says there that I got a hundred. I do not have a hundred kilos of pumpkin seeds. I'm going to go to one again. Sell. Still on. This is this is all gone horribly wrong. But this, they're taking it out of here. I don't want them to take it out of here. They're supposed to take it out of that bit. There. I, I think I've lost the pumpkin seeds. I've done it. I, I failed to actually dis. 98.6. It's one kilo. No, it's still 98 point. We've got the chicken meat moving over. Let's go to there and call them in. Have you? Yes, they've done it. They took it. It's still the 17th. We've done it. We have succeeded. And um, yes, I sold some of that as well. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Call them in. And that one is already done. Okay. We can get rid of those two. That one. Get rid of it. Right. Hire uh, the... Offer from Labour Office, hire any employee before 10th of the 2nd, 2020, to get a 1,000 monies reward. Uh, let's go back to play speed a minute. And so we need to hire somebody. Anybody at all, we just need to hire. Now, we've got loads of silage and stuff going on up there. I'm not really sure how it's working. I need people in here. I need people in the small milk processing plant. Now, in this house, I've got three of eight people. I have nobody assigned. So I need the processing people. This doesn't require anybody working. So I just I need three people in there so that then I can have all milk being brought over. Which means that I need to hire some people over here. So we go onto here. We go to the hire list. And there we've got processing. We've got a processing. I don't want a tractor driver. I don't need tractor drivers at the moment. Uh, there. Charlie Day, 507. Hire. There's one processing. I want that permanent house for employees. And then I want to go back here again, and now I've lost all of the processing. We gain a thousand... Where's, where's the processings? I, I need the processing people. Uh, Ruben Phillips at 470. See, these, it's going to cost me a fortune to get those, tr those guys trained up. I'm going to do one of them. I'm going to get one of them trained up now. And I'm going to come out of that list a minute, and I'm going to go back to this house over here. And I'm going to click on Charlie there, and I'm going to train him for 1,800 monies. And I'm going to... I'm just going to come out of there. So, uh, what's... Is he still on... He's still on 507. He's on 470. But take him and I train him up like that. He's still on 470. So when does that go up? Because that's supposed to increase, isn't it? I think it increases. Unless you get them cheaper because you train them up yourself. Yeah, that might be it. That might actually be it. I, need, I still need one more person here. So let's just go back down to the higher list and... You know, it may be better if we built another house over there so that we could tra um, train them. It it's fine. It's fine. Right. Uh, no, I don't want the staff list. I want here. One more person who can do pro... we got Amber right there. Amber, would you like to work with the two blokes in there? Um, oh, no. Millie. Millie is the one there. 530. She's 5 of 5. 517. Yeah, but I mean, it costs like 1800. How long is she going to have to work for us before that 13 per month is earned back? Uh, we just go with this one. Right. Um, Millie Rees, hire. And you're going into that house right there. Okay. Uh, we have the field is ready for harvest. Okay. Let's go into here and I will go autofill. I want those. Well, I don't want you. 
Choose. Not Charlie Day. Carl. Robin! Robin, you, you are the perfect girl for the job. Uh, do I have three tractors? I don't know about Alice Robson. Doesn't really have training in anything. I mean, we might get rid of her. Except. Right, they're going to go and harvest that field there. This one over here, I want to auto fill there. I've got five of five on all three of them there. 530, 475, 07. And. Current production. Right, cow's milk, 30 litres. 30 litres there, 30 litres there. Goat's milk, I don't have any goat's milk. And sheep's milk, we can make sheep's cheese. So if I do that, and that one into butter, that one into yellow cow cheese, and cow cheese. Why not just call it cheese? Cheese, yellow cheese, and then sheep's cheese. Isn't that what they would normally do? So we got plus 25% on each of those, 18 units, and then... So it, it should just work through all three of those, I think. Um, and then I think that the milk and stuff, the extra milk, will then be sold. So they will take what milk they can, and then excess milk will still be sold at the market. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it works like this. Right, uh, it's still win- oh. I can't do anything at the moment because it's still winter. So we're, we're, we're making no further forward progress. Now, the warehouse here, I got 112 kilos of pig and 18 kilos of chicken. If I look in here, I got 56 kilos of chicken, 31, 562 kilos of cow. So let's go and sell some cow. I'm going to go to sell right there, and we will have a little stroll down through the list. There's the cow's milk. We've got 500 litres of cow's milk. We've got 21 litres of sheep's milk. 56 kilos of chicken is rising. Okay, let's... um. How long does this last? 12th of the 3rd? Oh. We're gonna, I think we'll need to set these up on auto trades because, quite frankly, it's not going to work. I can... It says 75. Why have I got 75? Have I got another lot somewhere? I'm not really sure, but that says, oh, uh, it might be from, um, yeah, if I do that, 75 there. Right, 966, so I'll sell that, and then I will go to the cow, and we'll do all of that. 13,700 from selling cow. Rabbit, right there, 31.25, 384. And then we got some pig right there, 7,099, I'll sell all of that as well. Beautiful. There's still some pig meat left. Another 225 there. Did I, did I not sell it all? Not really sure what I did. Right, we need to set up all the meat, I think, for auto trading. We've got some rabbit over here. I think we could do with more rabbit. We Really, we want to unlock um, more. If we, if we can have more. This one here, I want to get more sheep coming in here. Uh, the pigs over here, we're on four of six at the moment, so we're sort of waiting for those to breed again. Cows, we're on five of six. Chickens over here, 25 of 30. Everything seems to be going all right at the moment. We seem to, it, it, you know, it, it seems to be we've got two pigs in here waiting to be slaughtered. We've got cows. Well, it doesn't actually say that we've got anything. It's just two pigs waiting at the moment. So we can do geese, goats, ducks. So many animals. The problem is keeping the animal feed. Now, I think buying in the animal feed is the way to go. We, um... We're a seasonal farm. We're, we do seasonal picking here on this farm. So we've got these fields here for seasonal picking. We're going to make some more fields as well. So that we can do uh, training in banking three. Okay, we've trained up the banking three. I want to go back into this one. And I want to go to training. Right. Um, increase the quality and quantity of harvest by 10%. Annual agricultural school. It gives access to specialized training. Fruit growers, beekeepers, farmers, prevention of weeds, insects, fungi, breeding trainers, workshop. So much stuff. It's 100,000, but it's an entire year of training. And we got all of these others that I kind of want to do first. Increase storage capacity by 10. Right, that's 30 days. That's 90 days. Seven days there. Give access to wind farm building. May be useful, it may not, I don't know, but we'll go for it anyway. Let's go into here. I want to build some fields. I want extra fields now. And I'm going to go... Oop, no, there. If I go like that... That's as... Oh, I see. That's the limit of how big you can build the field. So we'll make that as big as we can. There. And there is another field. And then I will do the same over here. Bring it out onto the edge of the road like that. 
And we'll bring it out as far as we can. That's as far as I can. Right up to the very limit there like that. So I've got two more fields. Now, I was going to go sort of one field each, I think. More animals ready for breeding. Show and call them in. Uh, yeah, like that. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I was going to go for like one field of each, I think. Now, that's the biggest field. So is it the biggest field? 50 by 50. That one is 75 by 52. That is a bigger field. So we're going to put... Um, a cucumbers up there and then we're gonna go probably go for pumpkins on that one and then what have we got we've got tomatoes we've got cabbages uh, yeah, right so pumpkins cu uh, no cucumbers pumpkins tomatoes cabbages and then we've got two more I don't think I've got two crops actually uh, red peppers oh that's it just the red peppers. I got 1,200 pumpkins in there. Are those pumpkins... Are they still harvesting? Yes, they are. Um, No, I've got the red peppers. And I, there's one more that I want. Because I got, I got five crops here. We've got pumpkins. We've got cucumbers. Cabbage, red pepper, tomato. I think we'll go red pepper in that field. And we'll go tomato and cabbage. And so I want one more crop. Let's just quickly look through while it's uh, on slow speed. So I've got the crop there ready and waiting. I don't want saplings. Potatoes, no. Possibly, I mean, raspberries, do they, they take a while? Growth time, 95 days. Uh, strawberries, growth time, 50 days. So maybe we want to go for, like, soft fruit. Because these, uh, growth time's like 300 days. That's, that's way too long. I don't want to do that. But strawberries... I kind of like the idea of doing strawberries, because the growth time is low enough. Um, there's only 50 days for that. I think we're going to do strawberries. So let's buy in 100 strawberries. Strawberry seedlings, 100. I don't know if, that, I don't know if 100 is going to be enough. I think we're going to need more than that. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. We're probably going to have to employ a whole load of seasonal labor in a little bit. Let's have a look in here and see what we're doing in the warehouse. We've got 25. Butter. We've got sheep's milk. We've got cow's milk. We've got yellow cheese there current production and these are on auto sell so the next thing that we want to do is while it's just ticking along slowly we're going to go and set some auto trades i want to set up a whole load of auto trades so i need to go to here and i need to go to trade like this uh, chicken eggs are auto trading above zero and so is cow's milk so they will take the cow's milk as and when they need it um I think we will set up everything to auto trade above zero. So we'll go milk there and auto trade above zero. So it, it, it will sell all of the pig meat. Uh, sheep's milk is doing that already. And we come down through and we got... I'm not actually auto trading honey at all, but chicken meat there. Auto trade that. Cow's milk. This, uh, cow's meat rather. Than not, and then here we go. This, this is in the other stuff. So cheeses as well because they they don't how long do they last gee i want to have a look in here this will tell this should give me a, a date shouldn't it what are you moving warehouse here 25 units of cheese it doesn't give me a date on it but then no it doesn't give a date on any of it cow's milk there no so look on here have, have we moved anything we haven't moved anything in here i wish they i wish they would no oh hang on no i can do it in here uh, uh, yeah, I should be able to sell this. This has the dates. This has the dates, right? Uh, milk? No, no, no. Really? Why are you not letting me sell any of the dairy products? I've got dairy products here, ready and waiting to sell. I've got them. Twelve units of butter, eighteen units of yellow cow cheese. Why won't they let me sell them? Dairy can go in here. This one. Dairy, bottles, jars, agrochemicals, dry goods, others, frozen food, vegetables, fruits, meats, seeds, and plants. Takes everything and then you won't move it over. Why won't you bring it to me? I need you to bring the stuff over. Right, take above zero. That's fine. See, it's making all of these up. We're going to actually, it's very, very soon going to have another whole load of everything in here. Let me just go and have a look on here. It should add in 158 there. There we go. So we've got 50 cheese. 25 butter, 37 cheese, 25 sheep's cheese. But it's still not moving it. Why? Why, why won't you put it in here? I need it in here. Uh, click with shift to move resources. 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh, click with shift. Didn't do anything. Uh, no. I don't know. I genuinely am confused on that front. So I don't know what the dates are because it's not letting me sell them at the moment. If I look into the market. No, I want to sell. If, if I go to the sell stage and then I go seeds, plants, foliages, animal products, produ uh, production. I have silage and I have pig meat. That is everything that I own. Silage and pig meat. 20,000 units of silage. Good gravy, man. Um. Yeah. Right. Well, that means that it's not allowing me to sell the, the cheeses at the moment. And I would very much like to be able to sell the cheeses. But for some strange reason, it's not doing it. It's not accepting that we have cheeses. I've got plenty of building. It's not like I'm short on capacity. 2,300 pumpkins. We, we might have to wait a little bit for that. But we got 2,300 pumpkins harvested. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to do that. Autofill. Uh, I don't want my tractor drivers doing this. Not at all. Clear those two. Actually, I'm going to clear you as well. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to hand pick these people. This is ridiculous. Choose, and Freddy, and choose, and Elliot. Right. Accept, and show, and then we call in and get rid of that one. How are we doing? We got four days left on train. We're still in the middle of winter. I'm. I am going to speed this up in a minute. I really am. I got 112 there. It's. It's this whole milk thing. This. This is leaving me dazed and confused, and I don't really know what to do about it. I don't think there is anything I can do about it at the moment. I will go back to the trade list and rather than worrying about the milk stuff that we were looking at, I got that milk there that's trading. Ah, see, look, the butter is still grey. It's like we haven't got any. Chicken meat. There, that's fine. Cows. Cow cheese. Goat. Uh, mutton. I will actually do the mutton because we'll have that eventually. Uh, pig meat. There, that's selling. Rabbit meat. That's going to sell above zero. So this is all going to be permanent sources of income that are pouring into the farm, but we don't have any... The cheeses and stuff haven't been moved. I don't know why they haven't been moved. Eventually, they will be moved. I'm sure of it. I have complete and total confidence, and now I'm fed up with winter, so let's get let's get things moving. See, cow's milk, eggs, everything. It's all sell. We're on 212,000 there. Um, okay, and show you. Call in, and then get rid of that one. Right, so we should hopefully get a whole load more sheep very soon. It's going to increase the milk production. I want to get bigger units here as well. I want bigger units. I want um, more units. More rabbits would be good. We have a uh, show. That's the rabbits there. Perfect. I want more rabbits. If we can have more of them, again, that would be great. I've got three tractors, but I don't think I've got three dedicated tractor drivers. I've got her there, Alice Robson. So she's no good. Show. Call in and get rid of that one. Right, let's look in here. So I got two five of fives there. I got Allegra and I got Carl. And I don't have anybody else. Training? Okay, uh, let's, let's slow right down. We'll have to have a look at the staff list. I want three trained tractor drivers now. Um, because, you know, they, they're going to be useful. I did want to go... What, what am I doing? Oh, no. Um, yes, yes, I am going here. I'm going back to training like this. And we're gonna we're looking for the short training times. Uh, ten days, seven days, right there. Increase likelihood of receiving a grant. There we go. So we'll increase. I'm gonna do this by the short ones, and rather than going for the the long term ones at the moment. And we'll go. We will go for a long term one like this one here. Not enough money. Oh, I can just go and make it. Right, that's fine. No, it's the animal ones here, wasn't it? This is the one where uh, a breeding farm, annual, annual agricultural school. To be able to increase any of these, I need the annual agricultural school, which is, um, yeah, that's the time-consuming bit. We might do that soon, actually. I'm now thinking that maybe it would be a good idea if we would, like, um, boost, boost a bit of production by doing that very, very soon. I think. Uh, that is cultivation. Input. That's actually almost done. As soon as they are done, we'll then set the next one going. And over here in this warehouse. Now what do you... Oh, we're down to 25 units. Does this mean they've moved some stuff over? Yes! There we go. Right, 11th of the 4th, 2020. 2020. Seriously? Your cheese is going off in like six months? That is some poor cheese. That really... it must be soft cheese. It's got to be soft cheeses. Right. So we can now go into trade. And cow cheese is auto-trading. Butter. I want to auto-trade that. There we go. Frequency once a week. Sell products. 
when we'll be over limits in warehouse. So yeah, I'm just going to sell everything that is over the limits. I uh, butter up there. I got sheep cheese right there. Nope. Sell everything. Auto trade over zero. And I've got yellow cow cheese there. Sell. And then come down again. And what else have I got? I'm not, uh, no, I haven't got goat's cheese yet. Goat's milk haven't got. Goat, no, we have, we're not going to worry about those at the moment. I'll only add in the things that we get that I want to be selling. Um, let's just make sure we got everything. So we've got butter and cow cheese. Those two are both selling. Then we want yellow cow cheese and sheep cheese. So there's the sheep cheese and there's the yellow cow cheese. There's four items that we're currently making. We've got cow cheese, yellow cow cheese and butter from the cows. And then we've got the sheep cheese from there. Yes. Okay, so everything is working perfectly. We're selling any excesses and I think we're doing well. I, I, I think we're making some progress. So let's go on to there and then we want to have a look in our staff list. And I want to find their staff list. These are all assigned people. So we've got Carl and Allegra are our two tractor drivers. And then I've got Alice Robson as a backup tractor driver who's also got the skill to care for plants affects the size of the harvest. Is that just when you're harvesting or is that at all times? I think we're going to take her. This is a bit risky. I don't really know if it's going to work, but I'm going to do that so that she is also a tractor driver. And I'm going to hope that that does actually impact um, planting in the fields. I don't know if it will. I'm just living in hope here at the moment. Now, we're going to go back to this, and we're going to go to others, like that. And we're going to go to Scare Crow. Now, the Crow of the Scare, you can just make out the, the loop on there. Um, oops, I need to press Shift. Go there. Oh, hang on. Just show that one a minute. Call in. And there, right. Now, I want to go there, and I want to go back to the Scare of the Crow. I'm going to bring this one up over here, and I want to set this field up so that I am scaring the crows away. If I do it like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to have six in this field. So I'll put one there, another one over there. It's roughly, in a, it's, it's roughly in a straight line. You know it's roughly. I can't quite do it all the way through, so I'm going to have to go like that. And then there. There we go. Right. Roughly a straight line. There's a load of scarecrows. And show. Call in. And then do that. Finish training. Let's slow down a minute. Okay. And then we can go back to our training. And where's the, uh, what are we getting this time? Do we go for this one now? That's going to allow us to upgrade all of our animal pens. We can get rid of these small animal pens. And we can get the big animal pens all the way through. The only problem... I want to maybe reduce the price of the bit. That's 30 days. 30 days. Minimum price of products and crops. Ooh. Increase the minimum price of products and crops by 30%. We get more money, basically. Slows the wear of machines. That's 10 days. I'm going to go for that one first before I do any, like, hardcore stuff. Um, oh, hang on. I got... Uh, oh, no. I've done, I've, done, I've done that one. I've done the chickens. And... Yeah, we're still waiting because it's still in the middle of winter. We don't have anything ready yet. We will have soon, no, we will have soon. How do we plant uh, cucumbers? Is that a regular seed drill? This one over here, precision cedar. And then we've got that seed drill. Let me just have a look in the market a second, because I'm not sure which ones they do. We've got combines, cultivators, fertilizer, header, sowers and planters. There we go, right. We've got an orchard planter there, which does those three. We've got a planter, which do oh, that does all these seedlings. Right, so we could use one of those. It's going to be a bit faster than planting by hand. And then we've got this one here, which is pumpkins and cucumbers. And then we've got our ordinary seed drill, which is cereals. And we don't have any cereals. So we could, we could actually sell that one. That's what we'll do. We're going to sell our ordinary seed drill, that one right there. And I'm going to sell you there. Seed drill, good condition, 2,469 monies. Sell. Right, and then I'm going to go and buy a new seed drill. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click on use right there. And then I'm going to go down here to sowers and planters. We don't need an orchard planter at this time. So that planter there does raspberries, um, strawberries, tomatoes. So those three, actually, cabbages, peppers strawberries and tomatoes there's four of them there that we're going to be doing 
that we kind of need. Um, and well, all right, let's buy one. If we need to buy another one, then we will buy another one. I don't think I have any. Sorry, no machines were met. Ah, so we can only buy a new planter. Buy that one, and then that one can go on there or there. No, we'll put it on there like that. There we go. There we go. Right. So we've got a new planter that's going to be going there. We've got a sprayer. We've got a plow. I'm thinking a second plow. We've got three tractor drivers that we're going to keep running. So a second plow to really start, you know, really get going on this. I think a second plow would be very handy. Um, we've got one manure spreader, but they don't actually take a huge amount of effort and time do they so let's go back into here we want to go to cultivators um no we don't we want to it's actually plows um there we go so we got lily plow right there which is two meter small and we've got the radon plow there which is a four meter one that is 1620 uh there are no others so we will get that one right there and we'll buy that one and this one is going to go there perfect so now we have, uh, I've only got two box cars uh, parking there. Okay, show, call in, and get rid of that. I've got two a box car, box trailers. I've got two box trailers ready for harvest. And I think I'm going to need more than that. I think we are definitely going to want. So I'm going to get another box trailer that's going to be ready for the harvest as well. Uh, so we want to go from there. I want to go to trailers. Trailers right there. If I add in that, um, bad condition. No, we want that one there. Another box trailer. See, that is, yes, that is the fruit as well. So it's everything we're going to be needing. So we are going to want some. So I got now three. So we will be able to harvest three at once. Hopefully this will work out all right for us. I really hope it does. Okay, let's speed things back up again. We've just been here in the winter, mostly, planning for next season. And at the moment, we haven't done a great deal else. Right. We've got some crops in there. 22,000 units of silage. 7,000, 7,000, three and a half. This one in here is busy making loads. I could probably sell some silage, actually. You know, the, the way things are going at the moment, I think we can sell silage. We've got cabbages, we've got potatoes... We've got, yeah, so that's all going in there. Cabbages and potatoes. I've got some liquid manure in there. This one has got both. We might actually sell some of that at some point. Over here for food, we've got crops, wheat, some potato, corn, oat, silage, and grass. That's, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We're, we're doing well on this. So this one here, we were thinking of doing, well, this one's got to be by hand. Now, we've got a field of oats planting in progress. But it's winter. I don't think that's going to do anything. I, we've got to recultivate that field, but we've got to wait until the spring. Spring will be here shortly. Fear not. Do not fret. Do not worry. Spring will be here shortly. We're on 147. We've got some chicken. We've got some pig over there. And then in here, we've got some pig, some chicken, some rabbit. Okay. I think we're doing well with this. We've got oat seeds in there. More people, ra there's people racing up through constantly. So we've got the chicken breeder there. Um, you know, overall, I'm quite pleased with how things are working out here. We've got in the warehouse, so we've got, we've got a lot of items that are now auto-selling all the way up through. And there's not a lot of people doing a great deal at the moment, but that's because we're still waiting on spring. That's all we need now is spring to turn up, and then we can really start the next season. Spring is about to burst upon us in all its glory. 21st of March. Here we go. Is this spring yet? Nope, it's still wind. There we go. Spring has started. Everything comes back to life. Time to resume work on the field. Okay, let's slow that back down. And right now, we've got this one here. I need to interrupt work. It says planting in progress. But there's nobody assigned. So we'll interrupt the work there. And I have to cultivate the... Oh, hang on. No, grows. 120 days left. I don't think it's actually planted, though. I am certain that that is not planted with oats. I'm going to cultivate that field again. Yes. And I'm going to auto-fill. And then I'm going to clear out him and him and her and her. And we're going to keep those five working on that. They're going to go rushing to work in that field there. They're going to cultivate it and then they're going to plant it. And then over here, 
Weather alert, too low temperature, soil moisture, that should be coming back up. 155 days left on there. Not really a lot happening over on that field. Now, we need to do all of these fields over here. This is going to be the pumpkins. This is going to be sales training. It's finished. Okay, let me just pause that a minute and we'll get another training going. Then we, we, can, we can come back and we can worry. Right, uh, 16, 30, 10 days there. Slows the wear of machines, 90 and 30 days. Uh, 14 days there, increase the maximum price of products and crops by 5% for two weeks. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, over here, we've got extra fields. Now, we've got six crops and we've got six fields. I'm thinking that strawberries will go on a small field because it's, it's going to take a lot. But we need to get the plowing done first. Uh, that one hasn't been plowed at all. So we're going to bring a plow in there. And we're going to go machines and we're going to auto fill. So Carl is going to come in with a plow and he's going to get working on that one. And in this field over here, I'm going to go exactly the same on here. I'm going to go to machines. I'm going to auto fill. And Allegra is going to come in and get working on that one. Okay. And then over here, I don't have a third plow. So what we're going to do is going to wait for one of those to finish. And then we're going to be able to carry. So let me start playing it again. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so that they, um, they get a move on with that. This field down here, they're busy cultivating it. It's going to take them a little while to cultivate, I think. Yeah, crop quality is coming down. See, I'm not sure if it was planted or if it counts. I genuinely don't know. I, I, I mean, I sort of think it would be because you get winter oats. You, you do get winter crops. So it kind of would make sense that they should be able to do that. But at the same time, I'm thinking that maybe they're not able to do that, which is why it, it's gone. I, I, I don't know. I genuinely have no idea at this stage. I really don't. Plowing is underway. There we go. There is the plow. And they're doing the... Wow. Okay, that is some speedy plowing. Um, show and call in and then get rid of that one. Perfect. Now, let's go back over here. So the animals are what we've really been focusing on this time. And we've done really well with the animals. There they are. There's our sheep. The sheep are looking very, very healthy. I'm very pleased with the sheep, actually. And we will be getting... We'll get more sheep. And I'd also like to get goats and then um, more of these so that we can have turkeys and chickens and ducks as well. There's all three of them. Wow, the plowing is actually... Well, I am going a little bit fast. I've got, I've got time sped up, so plowing is going through quite nicely. And as soon as one of these fields is finished, I can get uh, the other lady. I can't remember her name. She's going to come in and she's going to start cultivating one of these fields. And I think having two fields... I'm probably only going to use the plow just the once, actually. Now that I think about it. We could build another field and we could have yet more people working. Except that I don't really want to. I'm, I'm, I'm choosing not to. Right. She's finished and she's off. But the field's not actually classed as finished yet. You've got to wait for them to go home. And he's going to actually get home before she does. Okay, now are you finished? Still plowing in pro... There we go, that's finished. Okay, let me slow that back down again. This one is now finished. So then I can go to cultivations, and I can go to machines, and I can auto-fill. Carl is going to go bombing off there with the cultivator. And this field over here, we can now get the plow going in here. Is this one done? No, Allegra's still at work. Speed that up. There we go, right, Allegra's now finished. So then we can go into this field and I can get Allegra to come out with the plow and autofill. There we go. Allegra is going to get to work on that field. Uh, you know, I may as well have another field being uh, plowed over here with our other person because it's going to take him a while to cultivate that field up there. So yes, machine, autofill. Alice is going to get going with the plow over here, our third tractor driver. There we go. Speed that up a little bit. Get her going up there. That is absolutely perfect. This one down here, we're nearly done with the cultivating. And then we can get the planting going in that one as well. This has got 33 days left over here. I don't know if I'm going to need seasonal employees to do the planting. That's the only thing I'm wondering about is whether I'm going to have seasonal employees for doing planting on these fields with some of the seedlings and stuff. We've got seedlings. Is whether I'm going to be able to actually use them. So that is something that we're going to be finding out very soon. Uh, how are we doing? We kind of just need to wait now. It's just it's just the, the, the epic waiting game. 
Let's just come over to here. How are you doing? Your cultivations are doing fine. We can leave that one. The tractor. Oh, what are... What are they doing? Oh, they, they've come to get the milk. They came to get the milk. That's what they came to get. We're on 155,000 monies. We just want to kind of keep a bit of an eye on the monies and see how it's doing. Because um, I think it is now actually starting to creep up slightly based on the meat that is being processed through the slaughterhouse over here. So we've got chicken, pig, rabbit over there. And then we've also got all of the dairy stuff that's coming through here as well. See, cow, butter, yellow cheese. We've got pig meat there and chicken meat there. Um, I got loads of strawberry seedlings and stuff. Oh, 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 I finished some jobs. Uh, I'm going to get one of them going in this field over here now. Yes, and then go machine and autofill. Allegra is going to come back to work over in that field. And then I'm going to wait until this one is finished. And I'm going to get somebody working in that field. And the cultivator is going to go straight on with the next field over here. So we'll wait until Carl has finished. Come on, Carl. Do your thing, man. You need to get a move on. We're going to run out of time. So that one is cultivation in progress. There we go. Look at that. Look, 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 look. He's got one more line down the way through, and he is done. So he's just got to whiz back home. And as soon as he's whizzed, have you whizzed? There, yeah, right. He's had his whiz. And we need to go fertilizing now because the soil fertility is low. Soil moisture, we're not going to worry about at the moment. We're going to go fertilizing there. We're going to choose. We are going to go for manure because that is the best one to use. And we're going to auto fill. Carl is not going to do this. We're going to choose Alice to do this job there. She's going to get going on there. I think that's reasonably quick to do that. Carl is going to come over here and he's going to do some more cultivating. So we're going to go there and I'll auto fill that so that Carl does the cultivating. And then over here, we've got Allegra busy doing the plowing. She's got another field yet to plow. And then we're going to be breaking out some seed drills. We've got four fields that need to be planted with one seed drill. So we're going to need one driver for that. This field, almost done. They just need to go and rest. And then, right, now it's done. So now I can have sowing. And I can go choose. And we're going to have oats in there. And then auto fill. I've got five people here who can all be used for this. Except 10 kilos of oats to plant that field. So I really don't know if it was acceptable on there before. I think it might have been. Planting the oats there in the autumn. We will, and I think next time we'll try it and we'll just leave the field. So we'll, once we've harvested it, we'll leave the field and we'll see what happens with it. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, it could be pretty good. It might not be. I, I, it, at this moment in time, I genuinely don't know. We've got to watch that. Soil moisture is on its way down. We've got to um, just make sure that that comes back up again. Let's speed this up. It's going a little bit slow here. We've got... Yeah, everybody's work. everybody is working at the moment. We've got um, manure being spread over there. Soil fertility is halfway on most of these fields. Yeah, on all of these fields. Okay, that field is done. So I want to plow over here. Yes. Machine, autofill, Allegra can get going with the last of the plowing. Cultivating is going over here just fine. This field here, see, the spreading of the muck is very, very fast. So she's going to be able to finish that job and then get going straight away with the planting without any problems at all. And it's sort of saying it's done. Not quite yet, though. There, right. Now she's parked up. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. If we can catch her. There we go. Right. So now it's... Soil fertility is fine. Moisture we'll ignore for a minute. We, we, we kind of need to. And we're going to go cucumber seeds on this big field here. Machines and auto fill. There. Well, only eight kilos. Is that all? Okay. I can cope with that. So Alice is going to come and plant that field. The cultivator is going to keep going. And then once the... Yeah, let's speed this up again. Once the cultivator is finished on there, we're going to put him going straight away on this field over here. She down here, Allegra, she is going to be doing the muck spreading on that field there as soon as she is able to. So let's just watch this a minute. We'll slow it down so that we've got them close together again. And he's done. He's parked up. There we go. Right. Let's slow that down. And then we go into this field here and we get cultivating in there. Machines and auto fill with Carl. Accept. And that one's going to go. This field over here, I want some fertilizing done. So let's choose solid manure there. 
and then machines and autofill and that is going to be Allegra she's going to do that and then we can go back into here no we don't not that one we want to go into here we want to go to training we've done some more training 16 30 days 10 days there for wear of machinery 90 days increased rate of production increased storage capacity is 30 days we now got that they are quite long term some of these increase the strength of employees by 30 percent that's the one there i think that we're going to take so our money is still dropping slightly but it's not dropping anywhere near as much as it was uh, which is actually a really really good thing so this one here allegra is working on that field this one carl is working on that field I can speed production back up again and we are into April we've got one field being planted over here yeah we've got another field being spread with manure over here okay at the moment it's all going well cultivating is taking a while I think we're gonna need some extra do we need an extra cultivator if we expand to any more fields we're gonna need more tractor drivers I know that much that is one thing we're definitely gonna want Carl you're busy you're doing a wonderful job, Carl. I'm very pleased with your progress. This one over here, we're going to be putting pumpkins in this field. So um, Alice is, once she's finished planting the cucumbers over there, she's going to plant cucumbers in this field. Uh, that one there is now done. So I can bring the cultivator in here and I'm going to go autofill for Carl. And he's going to come in there and he's going to cultivate that one. And then she is finished over there. Uh, she, yeah, she's all done. Soil moisture is all the way back up. So I can go for... Fertilize. Let's just slow that down a little bit. And then I'm going to go choose manure. And then I'm going to go there. And I'm going to auto. I can't. I can't. She's not ready yet. Is she ready yet? She might be. Uh, bet with a neighbor. Oop, slow down. Collect five times potato before 1st of the 6th, 2020. That's not going to happen. Uh, right. Fertilizing. Choose manure. And the machines and all there. She's she's ready now. She's available. Okay, she can carry on and do that. Courier couldn't find Millie Rees to deliver to, so I need to go to my employee list and I want to go to staff list. Millie, where is Millie? Millicent. There we go. Millie Rees deliver package. There we go. Right, we got that one. Deliver that package. Success. One hundred and fifty-six monies. Perfect. Fertilizing is taking place in there. That has 77 days left. This one here, we are going to plant some pumpkins. There, we got pumpkins there. And I'm going to go machine, and I'm going to auto... 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 Auto fill. You have enough resources. Eight kilos, but I cannot auto fill it. Right, that means that she has not yet finished this job. 77 days left. I thought cucumbers were... I uh, didn't take... I thought they were 80 days. I don't understand what's going on. Allegra. No, I want this one here. And I want to choose pumpkin seeds. There. And then machines. Auto. There we go. Now she's available. Okay, accept. So she's going to plant those on there. In theory. Let's speed that up a bit. That is... Oh, she's still, she's still on her way to get stuff for there. Cultivating is nearly finished on this field. So I can start cultivating on that field very soon. Where is she? Where is Allegra? Allegra, what are you... Oh, there she is. It's okay. She's on her way. Problem solved. Your animals are ready for breeding. Okay. And call in the inseminator. Oh, no. Undo that. There we go. Like that. And that one's done. This one over here is actually now completely done. So I ought to be able to get this one cultivated now. If I go to machine and autofill. Yes, Carl is on his way. Carl does a wonderful job. Carl is a good lad. He's, he's, very, he's very on the ball with this. Pumpkins are busy being planted. Whoosh. She's away. She's doing a perfect, wonderful job. This one is almost done, so we can get that one done as well. Then I think we're going to end up planting this field. I kind of want to... Actually, we're going to have to be careful with this, aren't we? Um, because of all the different growth times. I didn't actually take that into consideration. You look over here. Um... Cabbage seedlings doesn't say, does it? Buy. Let's have a look. There, uh, into like growth time, seventy days, eighty-eight days. I need to get the red peppers in pretty quick. Those are ninety days. Um, the cucumbers are seventy-eight days. Cabbages are seventy days. Uh, strawberries are the lowest one. Raspberries are 95. Raspberries take a longer time than anyway. So strawberries are the lowest one. They're going in last. 78 days with tomatoes. 
The next one that goes in, I've got to get the peppers in next, which is not going to be that field. Actually, it'll be this field. I think we'll put the peppers in here and we will use... Um, what's the name to do this? So if we go in there and I go like that, red pepper plants. A thousand and five? Oh my goodness, gravy me. This is insane. Right, I'm going to do another order so that I've got strawberry plants here. If I choose the strawberry plants for that one... Strawberry seedlings by 2093. That's insanity. I need to slow this down. You here. Let's go to that one and then choose uh, cabbage seedlings. No, we're not going to do cabbage on there. I'm going to do. I've got red peppers coming in. I got strawberries coming in. I uh, tomatoes and cabbages. Doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll do cabbages on there. Uh, 78 units. Okay, that's fine on that one. This field over here, we're going to go there, and we're going to choose, and we're going to want tomatoes in there. I need to buy another 689 units of tomatoes with that field. Right. Okay, we've got all of those established. Cultivating is finished on there. Cultivating it needs to be done on this field. So we go there, we go autofill. Carl is going to come out and do the last of the cultivating. This field is done. This field is done. This field is ready for planting. This field over here needs uh, manure spread on it. So we're going to do that next. We're going to go there. We're going to choose that. We're going to... No, 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 no. Machine. Autofill. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So Allegra is going to come in there and she's going to do that. 195 kilos of manure is going to be used on there. This field hasn't had anything done to it yet. I want the peppers in on this field. We've got to make sure we get this the right way round because I don't have enough of the crops to do it otherwise. Uh, so we choose. Yeah, we got a thousand and five units of red peppers now, which was an absolute fortune. But it's going to work. It's going to be fine. So we auto fill that one. Alice Robson. Then we got Robin, Freddy, and Elliot who've got to work the planter itself. Except, let's see how this works. I don't know how this is going to work. I might want some seasonal employees to operate this planter, um, just because of the way the planter works. Right, I can't do you. That's that's not going to work. I don't have potatoes anywhere. It's, it's absolutely not going to work. 14 days left on there. That one, it... Oh, we haven't planted this one yet. I thought I'd already planted it. Why have I not planted that field? That, that um, greenhouse? Okay, I'm going to plant cucumbers in there. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to auto-fill with Layla and Evie. Except two people can work in there. That's fine. They'll plant those. I don't know why it didn't work previously. That doesn't really make much sense. It's okay. It's fine. We don't mind. We can cope with this. I think I'm going to need to buy a... S no. Yeah, actually, a second precision cedar probably wouldn't hurt. I'm not quite sure at the moment. We'll we'll um, we'll, we'll hang fire on that. So, Allegra's working there. And Robin is on her way over here. We haven't actually started planting yet, though. If Robin could get a move on... You, any In your own time, Robin, please. I, I don't mind when you turn up. I need you to turn up sometime soon. Oh, there we go. Right, let's have a look at the planting. This is going to look pretty good, actually, I think. Speed you up, get you along here. There we go. Nice. Look at that planter in progress. This is looking pretty good. I want I want a closer look at this. I want a closer look at this. This is all we got time for today, by the way. So we're going to have to come back to this next time. I'm going to be playing another episode of this one tomorrow. I'm going to sort of concentrate more on um, some games. Rather than trying to spread out between about 25 games every week, I'm going to concentrate more on uh, fewer games. So I'm going to be playing some more of this one for a while. We've done a whole load of Farmer's Dynasty. And I've sort of achieved what I wanted to achieve at the moment in Farmer's Dynasty, which was to get married and buy a tractor. We'll go back to that one and be looking at the better stuff. But for now, we're going to really take a, a longer look at Farm Manager. So you'll get another episode of this one tomorrow. Um, but if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.